It worked. Oh my god. Yes. Brilliant. Alright. Um. Well. This has been very successful. The original car that I first bought at the start of this journey was an off-road and it did originally despawn after a restart when I was towing it after I had parked it back in my base so I'm guessing after you tow it but hopefully it's unlocked I hope it is otherwise it'd be a long walk back to the base but my car has respawned when I was running to the northeast. I was like, sure, I'll go check it out. That's locked. And that green car is missing all wheels, but I have three. So, no, I only have two, I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. Yeah, I've only got two. So I'll basically be set, because the back two wheels are missing, unless someone's shot the car and it's blown up. But I did manage to scavenge the wheels off that car since it was unlocked. Well, it took me a couple goes, but I'm pretty sure you can do it on locked cars as well. It just takes a bit of time. You have to get out, get back in, walk away, get in, and try that. And if it doesn't work, then I guess you can't do it on that certain server. But some servers allow it, some servers don't. So, it's very nice. So, I got a car. It's all good. Happy, happy days. Happy days in Daisy. <laughs> So you know, head up there. Hopefully, the car is unlocked. I'm pretty sure I left some gear in, although I did check it and there was nothing there. Someone has obviously found it and stolen all the gear and shot the tires out, which is the back two. When it was parked, because it was like frozen on the wheel uh, on the hill, the wheel must have been broken in the back wheel and it just wasn't registering on my screen that it was missing. So, hopefully, these wheels don't disappear. <laughs> on me. Let's try and get this thing up and running. <laughs> Hopefully. Don't think I can- no, it's locked. can salvage. Probably take the wheels and the glass. Seems to be it. I don't think there's any gear. Nope. Um, I have got a ton of meat though. Chuck the meat in here and then I'll come back. The server does restart in 30 minutes. Should be right. Uh, wheels will be fine. They should uh, reconstruct themselves. So should be fine. There we go. Checking that I have it. Three wheels. And I could probably go back and take that car. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, because it's unlocked. I'll probably do that and then I'm, I'll have three cars. Well. Oh, I can't. I've destroyed car while attempting. Oh, so there's a chance of destroying it. Okay. That seems fair enough. I've got three wheels. It's good enough for me. I've got full blood and then I got civilian clothing. No, what do I do? Probably just drop copper. Take that. Because copper isn't really worth that much. Can't really do much with copper. You know, I I've only got three. I did originally have more, but... What can I say? Can't really do much with copper. So I'm going to head back to my base. And wait for the server to restart. And hopefully restock the shelves. So, should be right. I'm probably going to come back and tow that. Yeah, if I can find a fuel can. Because you need power to refuel now, which is cool. So, let's get back to the base and hopefully the car will not despawn. So, I need to quickly do that. Grab. I need to grab all the wood and make them into plywood so then it'll be into smaller packages so I can build some walls. I'm pretty sure I need a supply crate though. Well, yeah, I definitely do. And they ran out of scrap metal and a crowbars, so 
I've at least got a toolbox so I can just craft plywood and just get that over and done with before the restart and then I will be set just rely on scrap metal because I got a ton of wood and yeah hopefully my tools don't break on me but that's what happens in overwatch your tools eventually break that's what happened at one stage in epoch when I was playing on a version when the epoch was being developed and that's what happened your tools ran out they had limited life and they eventually broke so they haven't broken on me at the moment so hopefully it stays that way and I'll be happy just gonna find lightning <laughs> I just figured it like just struck you or something and I was thinking for like you could craft meals that give you more blood than they than the food would originally give you like can of sardines a drink and a piece of meat or something you could craft that and it would give you like full health or something something like that more than just the average 600 or 800 health that meat just usually gives you so that'd be cool and then it last you for longer if you made the meal so you could craft it you obviously need like a hunting knife a toolbox or something like that that'd be cool or like a canteen so a water bottle that'd be pretty nice I mean it did be a great advantage if they added that in to epoch or something because epoch is mainly the building and crafting side overwatch is kind of getting there but epoch's got more of the advantage and familiar familiarized in that area so that'd be cool you can craft your own meals and all that good stuff so, and you can craft uh, canteens that'd be awesome And obviously still keep the boiling water. I'm pretty sure you can still do that. You need a tin can and a fire and water, I think. Or you just need a filled water bottle with your empty tin can. So I got plenty of meat, because I am living off the land, so, as you could say. Because I got water supply next to my base and lots of animals for meat. Well, food. And I can get blood back. So we're restarting 30 minutes, what? Oh. <laughs> Gotta get back to my base and hopefully the car doesn't despawn. But it didn't last time when the server restarted, so that's good. I feel so dumb now, I found it. It was in trucks. I don't know how I missed it. Hmm. Oh no, it's popping up now because it wasn't popping up before. I th you have to be a different trading post, there we go. I didn't check this one. Which was odd. I didn't check the vehicles, but it's completely screwed. It just ran out of fuel. Well, it's got like probably a m less than a millimeter of fuel left. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Check and see if. Oh, this is a bodyguard clothing, by the way. So very nice clothing. Um, it, the shirt changes, and I think the pants change as well every time you log in, so that's cool. You don't get the same boring, boring gear as you usually do. So, with that being said, it's time to buy. Servers restarted. It's time to buy a crowbar. Hopefully this is going to work. Please be in stock. Please, please, please. If this doesn't work, we are so screwed. Ah. Oh, really? Oh, it only costs one silver bar. Oh. Check and see if I guess there won't be any scrap metal either. See if we can at least do that. That'll be very nice. Ooh, key added. Boom. Nobody can steal it now. Oh, look at that. Kind of looks like an SUV from this. No, not anymore. First glimpse doesn't work anymore. But here we go. Ooh, 
completely working and the wheel's still messed up. <laughs> my hand, don't need any hands to go. And it, oh, gone through my knees. That's cool, we don't need knees. Alright. Look at that. Driving in style. Making sure not to run over my gear. Should be fine. So here we go. Loading everything into the car. So one gold left. <laughs> Load all that in, hard, all the hard work. Oh yeah. We'll be set. This is looking great. I'm gonna have to buy a safe somehow. If I can find a briefcase, if my luck will return in briefcases findings. Guess we'll just have to murder some people. Mainly bandits, but probably come across the occasional survivor who tries to shoot me and take over my base. That is one thing I was thinking about. Because if someone comes near my base, they could easily just log out and then they could log back in at any time and kill me while I'm not looking. So that's a bit of a worry, but I'm actually going to put all my stuff into a tent which you can buy from this guy in the building supplies I would imagine yeah camping tent I would have the safe but you need one briefcase that's full so portable generator you can buy it here so my light bulbs as well camping tent desert camo but oh green very nice uh, oh it's only silver Good. I thought it was gold <laughs> Probably buy the green one. Um, should item tent. That's old. All right, I'm gonna buy the green one since it is saying that it's old. If you buy another one, and thankfully I have my silver with me, so I don't have to run back to the car. There we go. Let's buy it. Let's go. Hopefully they have stock. <laughs> Otherwise there's something up with this, but they had stock at the medic or the guy over there, whatever. Whatever you want to call him, even though there's a medic sign there, but the medic's over there and that I don't know what that guy is. I think he could be the medic. Hmm. And there you go. You can pitch tent. What is that? Craft desert net. Oh, you can craft nets, and then you can put them over your base and make it look really cool and all Shaded and camouflage. That's cool. Look at this car. It looks brilliant. All right, let's get back to the base. Get my nice new car that I have keys for now, so nobody can take it unless they kill me and steal my stuff. So let's hope that doesn't have to happen. All right, let's get back to the base and start. Uh, what am I going to do? I don't have any scrap. Oh, I had to Starry. Yeah, I had to Trader City Starry. Once I pitch my tent and throw it. No, I'll just, I'll just go straight there and then I'll go back to the base, hopefully with a crowbar and a lot of scrap metal so I can build supply crates to craft the walls. And then I can finally craft the roof and get my base all finished. 